Go. An interface defines the behavior of a type without specifying how it is implemented. Using interfaces is considered a good practice since it decouples the code and makes it more modular. As you can see, I already defined an interface for a self-driving car. I'm specifying another interface that defines the behavior of a Bluetooth connector. While I'm at it, I'm defining what a modern car can do. As you can see, I'm defining the behavior of a modern car as being able to drive by itself and connect Bluetooth devices. Here, that's everything that a modern car is supposed to do. In Go, we say that the interface of the modern car is composed of the two other interfaces. The modern car should drive from Madrid to Paris, so I'm passing it to the respective function. I only define the behavior of some types and now I'm using the respective methods inside the function. So far, I did not implement any type, I just defined the required methods. But now, I'm implementing my version of a modern car, the model number 4. The implementation is a struct type with an integer field called power. Note that interfaces have methods, while structs have fields. In the main function, I created an instance of the model number 4 in order to use it as a modern car that can be passed to the function that drives to Paris. In Go, interfaces are implemented implicitly. This means that only if a type has all methods that the interface defines, it implements the interface. The compiler tells me that my model number 4 is not implementing the modern car interface yet. So, I'm adding a so-called receiver function to my struct. In Go, receiver functions are associated with types and allow you to call methods on implementations of that type. Here, I'm just making up a function that scales the time of the ride with the power of the engine. Next, the compiler tells me that the method that connects Bluetooth devices is missing. So my model number 4 is still not implementing all methods of the modern car interface. This means, it is not yet behaving like a modern car. Therefore, I added a Bluetooth adapter to my struct and implemented the method. To say it in advance, when I run the code, the car will not move. This is because my instance inside the main function did not have a Bluetooth adapter, since a field that is not specified is initialized with the zero value. False in this case, changing it to true. We'll add the Bluetooth adapter to my model number 4 and it will work. Next, the behavior of a self-driving car is modified. It gets a new method that tells you if the car is charged or not. A self-driving car will not drive from Madrid to Paris if it is not charged. The modification of the interface means that my model number 4 is not behaving like a self-driving car, which in turn means it is not behaving like a modern car anymore. In Go, this concept is called duct typing. A duck interface would be implicitly implemented by a struct if it behaved like a duck. Therefore, the model number 4 is only implementing the modern car interface if it behaves like a modern car. To fix this, I had to add a battery to my model number 4 so it could be charged, and add the isCharged method to my struct. Polymorphism is another feature of Go interfaces. It means that you can change the specific implementation wherever only an interface is expected. Here the method that drives from Madrid to Paris only expects a modern car. So, I can use any type that implements this interface. Meaning that I can use any struct that has all methods of set interface. As you can see, I changed the implementation to a further advanced model number 5 and the code works like expected.